हेलो वेलकम टू द ट्यूटोरियल ऑन परफॉर्मिंग बेसिक अरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशंस इन पाइथन बाय द एंड ऑफ दिस ट्यूटोरियल यू विल बी एबल टू परफॉर्म बेसिक अरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशंस यूजिंग पाइथन बाय अरिथमेटिक ऑपरेशंस वी मीन एडिशन सब्ट्रैक्शन मल्टीप्लिकेशन डिविजन स्क्वेयर्स रूट्स एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा यूजिंग पाइथन टू परफॉर्म दीज कैलक्युलेशन is really simple just like you type in a calculator you can type regular arithmetic expressions in python and get answers 9 plus 2 gives us 11 9 minus 21 gives us minus 12 9 into 12 gives us 108 and 9 divided by 5 gives us 1.8 now Let's try to find out the squares of numbers. In order to use the function raised to the power of, we use the symbol double star. Let's find out two raised to the power of eight. That is two multiplied by two eight times. We have got the result. Now, let us find the remainder of a division. For that, we use the symbol modulus. Suppose we wish to find the remainder of x divided by y. we simply write x modulus y and we get the remainder in return let us see that 50 is not divided by 7 unless we reduce the number by 1 that's our result now just like simple expressions complex arithmetic expressions like one shown here can also be easily solved python follows the bodmas rule that is brackets of powers and roots division multiplication addition subtraction rule and calculations become very easy and accurate we have got 148.571428571428 as the output let's check this expression as per bodmas rule multiplication and division would be carried out first so let's calculate them 15 into 3 gives us 45 which when divided by 7 gives us 6.4285714285714429 and 8 into 7 gives us 56 the last step is to just add up the results yes we get the same result so we understand that python follows bodmas rule Let's define two numeric variables x and y. Next, we define another complex variable z using one of those numeric variables. Next, we define another variable score. Score is equal to z divided by y raised to the power 2. Now, let's print the value of score. Let's check the variable type for that variable score we find that it is complex so we learn that the higher variable type will be passed to the defined or calculated variable here variable type of z is complex which is higher than variable type of y which is integer and hence resultant variable score also has complex as its data type suppose variable d is an integer and variable e is float now if we define variable f which is the summation of d and e the variable type of f will be float since float is higher than integer similarly complex is higher than integer and so the variable score was complex in this example so that's it in this tutorial see you in the next tutorial where we will understand how we can set up working directory in jupyter notebook